put on your scarf. Keep your neck nice and warm. We're getting Colby ready to go out in the snow. Did you tie it? Yeah. Oh no, you didn't. You did it right. He looks so cute. Your cat. <laughs> I was, aren't there, is there ear holes or no? No. Oh uh, yeah, but there's no way his ears are going to fit through that. His head's way too big. I mean, it's a dog yeah. outfit. There you go, Freddy. Go outside. Shake it off. Oh, that's a walking buddy. <laughs> What's that real deep? How deep is it on him? It's pretty deep. <laughs> He's so cute. You're so cute. Look at pictures. Are they coming out good? Did you have fun playing, buddy? <laughs> that was so cute. That was so cute. <laughs> you want to go outside? Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know how this thing works, kind of. Oh, you don't know how it works. <laughs> Ah, oh, buddy! <laughs> the deer? Oh, there are deer. So for Seven Continents Day, one of the things we're making is something we had in Santiago. It was called Mote con Usilo, which is essentially uh, peaches with like wheat. So I have some dried peaches that I've been soaking overnight in just water and cinnamon. And I'm gonna boil those to soften them up. And that's gonna also be made with some dried wheat berries, which is what this is. All chopped up? All chopped up. Is this all even American cheese? It's a cheese plate. Um, some of these are. I got some Wait, cheddars. is there any non-American cheese? The Havarti or the Gouda maybe Where's from... Where's it made? Let me see. Okay. Imported from the Netherlands. Okay, so that one's not. <laughs> but we have two American cheddars. Which There's... one's the Netherlands cheese? This one. That has to go on a separate plate. <laughs> okay, fine. And rice cheese. Ooh, that's a cold bottle of gin. Rican Special Reserve gin. It was four pounds. It's a Welsh spirit. Actually, is it not Scottish then? Is it Welsh? So for... Europe, we have some Welsh gin. So we're gonna make some little gin and tonics to kick off our celebration. This is normally two to one. Is that all of it? And that's all of it. <laughs> wine, or lemon, lemon, don't yell at me. It's a lot of tonic water. It's annoying, but this is by far the cheapest way. Like anything else was like five times more expensive. It's like, yeah, we're only gonna use it for one drink, but... <laughs> well, I mean, just use it for something else. Spending a shit ton more water for not really any good reason. It's crazy how many calories are in it. Because it has like that, that quinine. Quinine. So we got our gin tonics and our cheese board. Where's the segregated cheese? Oh yeah. You forgot the Netherlands cheese? What were you making? I'm about to make some peri peri sauce and I'm starting to get the fixings for our veggie pita going. So most of this over here is what's going to go in the peri peri sauce and it's like red pepper and onion and a bunch of other stuff blended up and I'll cook it down for a little bit. And then I've got the beginnings of the, the peppers sauteing. So this is the peri peri sauce. It's been blended and I'm, I'm cooking it down a little bit. I've got my red peppers and my cheese and pita going. 
And I've got some other accoutrements chopped up and ready to go. Okay, so here we have our spread for Seven Continents Day 2019. Ice Antarctica Monte Conocido from South America. We have some cheese from North America. Gin from Wales that we actually picked up while we were in the UK. And so then, Europe. yeah, so Europe, sorry. <laughs> we always do that, we switch between countries and continents. Yeah. So for Asia, we picked up some udon noodles. Then Australia, we have some Bundaberg ginger beer that we got at Kroger a while ago. And then for Africa, we made our version of a Nando's uh, veggie pita with some, it's not halloumi though, is it? It's like grilling cheese, but yeah. close enough. Yes. So, it's a cousin of we ate Nando's a lot while we were in South Africa, so we decided to do that this year. So now that we've been to Northern Africa and Southern Africa, what are your impressions? Did you find, what like parallels did you find? Because it's such a huge continent. I think this is similar to when, when Joaquin asked what similarities we found or patterns we've seen from traveling. And I think comparing Egypt to South Africa just feels like two completely independent places. Like I think when you have a continent that big and where you have like, like in Egypt, which has some, some cultural influences that can span a lot, that it feel remotely similar. In a way that both like London and Paris both have like a similar vibe to them, even if like the style of them was different. What was a country that you think you were surprised at how much you liked it? I said France. France, okay. You were kind of the main person who wanted to go to Paris. I totally was. You were like, you were kind of really down on it. Yeah, I don't really love like visiting cities a lot of the time. Like I've never been someone who like really wanted to go to Paris. It's a little too popular for me also. So, like yeah, you're you know right. I kind of get turned off by the really popular tourist destinations. But I absolutely loved Paris. Like the food was amazing. Just the whole vibe being there. Um, I loved walking the streets, the architecture. Yeah, like this may be mean. I don't think it's mean. I think it's fair. Like we loved Australia. I was like, man, Australia was awesome. It's like I think I'm ready to go. Whereas we, we left Paris, and obviously we were only in Paris for a couple yeah. of days versus three weeks in Australia. I'm, I'm admitting, but yeah, I really, I really like Paris. I would, I would go back to just Paris itself again. Never mind seeing more France. I think I'm just really excited to see more of like that part of Europe. Like, I think Italy will be similar. Like, I really want to go to Venice and see the canals before it just gets kind of underwater. Like our Nordic road trip, we've talked about. Spain, everyone says is a great, I would love to go to Spain. Like it's hard to, for our trips to just not keep going back to Europe. But I guess it's fair to ask this. So is it safe to say that South Africa was the most disappointing? Or maybe not disappointing, but, because it wasn't disappointing in some ways. Like the safaris were awesome. Parts of the country were just beautiful. I would not equate it with disappointing remotely. South Africa was amazing and incredible, but it was just most overwhelming. So this might be a little funny. In the shower head, putting in the old one, it makes like a vortex of wind in my shower. So like, I can be taking a shower and I'll feel like gusts of wind going around. It's really weird and kind of cool. That's weird. I don't think you would like it because it makes it kind of cold even when you have the hot water on, but it's interesting. That is so irrelevant to our discussion. I know, I'm just sharing. What was your favorite shower? Definitely not one in South Africa. Most of those sucked. Really? That's not true. They were pretty good about having a lot of like rainfall showers. Shower. Yeah, I thought that was what you liked. So, we first tried Monte Conocido we in were, Chile. Um, this, it wasn't the Cerro San Cristobal. It was that little one we went to the first day, right? Yeah. And we had no idea what it was. It just looked... Weird, strange. Yeah, and not meaty. I guess it looked kind of meaty, frankly. It does. I mean, it looks like there's a brain like oh, yeah. suspended in some brown liquid or something. But it's a dried peach, right? A dried peach that's like rehydrated and cooked with wheat berries. It's really interesting. I mean, the cinnamon makes it really taste like a fall dessert. I think the cinnamon and the peach gives it a little bit of a bitterness. There's also some um, some caramelized sugar, which should give it some bitterness too. But it's good. It's, it is it's really got good. some really complex flavor. Babe, who's gonna win? You're gonna win. Did I win yet? Uh. 
Happy Seven Continents Day! Happy Seven Continents Day, baby. Nice job. I win. You had 245 to my 229. It was close. It was close. That was fun. Princess goes going out to pick me up some Taco Bell, and I checked on what he's making, and it's just a pan full of cheese. It's his dinner. That's my husband, folks. Baby, I've never heard about the egg. I've never heard about the egg. It's like the most, it's the most liked photo on Instagram. Of the egg? Yeah. Good morning, baby. Sorry I missed you. Call me, say hi to you. Right, buddy? Yeah. yeah. Call me, say hi to you. We both love you. I'm sure Zara loves you too and wish you a good morning. Hi. Say hi, buddy. Colby, are you checking out the snow? There's not much snow out there. It's mostly ice. I just came because I wanted to see this moon. It's supposed to be really cool tonight. You love playing in snow. You're so funny. Your feet are gonna get cold. Don't be out too long. This could end badly. <laughs> Princess goes on spider killing duty. That was the fun part. I'd really much rather not be losing me right now. Why? <laughs> Can I help you? Okay, I think I'm just gonna live with your girl. <laughs> I'll be here for a while. Why? Want me to help you? No, I think I got it. <laughs> here, why don't I bring that closer? I don't. Here, you can go on the, the fire. One, on the marble. <laughs> Must you be doing this right now? Just to put your weight on gently. Here, I'll support it. Need to go this way. Which way? So I can get on a corner of it. Okay. <laughs> Man, that definitely would have been way easier for me. <laughs> yeah. So I just have to throw you up there. But I didn't want to be on spider killing duty. I kept joking with Francisco that I should put on Facebook how I'm meeting someone on Bumble because it kind of sounds like I'm meeting a guy or something. I signed up for Bumble BFF, so the meeting, I've been chatting with a few people, talking to this girl Jordan for the longest time. So uh, we were gonna meet a couple weekends ago, but it got, it was really snowy and the weather was just too questionable. So um, this was the next weekend that worked for us. So we're gonna meet at Condado Tacos. It's it's kind of weird. It's like the first, it's legitimately the first time I've ever met a girl online. I mean, Paul, Paul is like the first, like just friend boy I've ever met. But I mean, I'm not, I'm no stranger to like meeting people from the internet. Um, I think that's just more and more common these days. But it's still weird and interesting and I mean even though we've been chatting now for a couple of weeks it's still like I don't know a whole lot about her. It'll be really interesting to see how it goes but I think I just gotten to the point where just realizing I, I don't have any good friend connections and just you know you kind of need those social connections and I figure I at least need to try. If it works out great, if it doesn't at least I tried. She had deleted her Bumble profile after we exchanged phone numbers, so I don't know exactly what she looks like because I don't really have a picture of her. Um, and I thought I'll just wait till we're there and then see like if we'll just meet at a specific place. We'll see how awkward this is and how it goes. probably can't tell but we've changed cars because apparently the Airbnb neighbors have blocked us into our driveway for the third time. Well not the same people. No not the same people but the third time Airbnbers have blocked our driveway. So Francisco is apparently looking up how we can get them towed. We've already contacted the Airbnb guy to let him 
no to question his guests, but the third time, this is getting ridiculous. Anyways, my Bumble date went fine. It was good. I enjoyed meeting Jordan. Um, there was definitely an, um, some inherent initial. Oh my god, why is your car so rattly? No, it's a rattly car. Some inherent initial awkwardness just being complete strangers and having lunch together. It was overall enjoyable and we've talked about like doing like a future like couples date thing and like going to a game bar or something. Making friends as an adult is weird. And hard. Making friends as an adult is weird and hard and why not take advantage of apps that are like hey I'm a person who's finding it weird and difficult to make friends and so are you. So <laughs> let's go out for drinks and talk about that and that's totally okay. So anyways, hopefully me and Jordan will hang out again because last time I made a friend online I never saw him again. So I'm hoping for better things with this friendship and we'll see what happens. Today is the day everyone's been dreading where it's supposed to be super cold. So I think it's supposed to be in like the negative 20s with wind chill here and then like back home or in Chicago it's supposed to be in like the negative 40s and it just started snowing like as soon as I got to work so it was a super cold walk in my fingers of course are having their rain odds issues I don't know we'll see how bad it gets and I'll check in back home and see how cold it is back home by my parents that's uh some heavy duty winter weather out there Okay, so I feel like usually when I have rain odds, like you just see like the really white, but now I see like the actual like dark purple as the blood flow is returning. So that's kind of a new experience for me. It kind of caught me off guard for a second. I don't know if there's a way to get any better lighting to show it. As you see, it looks kind of purple. It's cold. My car is struggling to start in the morning. That 29 degrees is a lie. It's zero. It's now negative one degrees. It is one degree. Alexa, weather. Currently, in Cincinnati, it's minus one degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies. Today, you can expect cold temperatures with a high of 18 degrees and a low of minus one degrees. I have some leftover tea water, so I'm gonna throw it outside because you know that's what all the cool kids do. Oh, Colby, I don't think you wanna go out there. It's real cold. Colby, oh, and he's going. You about done? Yeah, told you it was cold. <laughs>